uh, which leads to unconventional uh, structure failures. Uh, it has been uh, investigated in different uh, research works. Uh, so in order to incorporate for such scenarios, impact behavior of such uh, elements must be incorporated. And the impact design of structure is not much easy. So there, uh, the, uh, uh, like, um, high uh, studies is required. And while considering the impact design, you must uh, consider the economy as well. So this may be the disadvantage. You can see in the figures that, that has been uh, impacted by impact force. So for the further uh, parts or uh, portion of the presentation, I would invite Mr. Muhammad Ibrahim to further proceed the presentation. My name is Muhammad Ibrahim. So this is the abnormally structured or designed for a gravity static load, which is a design uh, reinforcement from a CIA recommended port or some other port. But the structure may be exposed to impact loading during its lifetime. So we must have to account for the structure response to that impact load. So for a proper design, procedure needs to be followed during the design stage of the project. So previously various studies have been performed on the dynamic behavior of the plate and set in both numerically and experimentally. But besides these studies, the experimental site is still in, in phase. So our research will be mainly focused on the experimental side of the effects of the effect load. So the maximum and minimum reinforcement needed for the slave to be designed is taken and allowed by the boards of respective country. But after that, we need to check either the structure will be uh, work against glass or impact load or not. So the need of the experiment and the numerical studies in this area is of much importance. So our problem statement is that as extreme natural and man-made hazard have always uh, posed threats to the civil, uh, civil infrastructure, the, the main uh, the natural hazard uh, includes earthquake, hurricane, and the man-made hazard includes uh, malicious security like explosion and hacker. So, in normally when we design the structure, it is based on the strength and service serviceability. But in practice, it is also possible that the structure may experience impact load during its life. Uh, so the designer needs to ensure the safety of the structure against the impact load. And that is, it is a high, uh, it is a high interest to examine a new structure system and material uh, that might be better protect impact structure against uh, uh, structure components against impact load. Okay, I can see 41 kinds of areas of these in false. So our aim, my aim will be to experimentally investigate the response of uh, that element and the action of impact load against various scenarios. Against very, very similar, we mean they are against low velocity. And the second aim is to investigate the response and performance of the state under the impact load against variation in reinforcement ratio. We will change the reinforcement To know about the failure pattern. So, sir, let me start again. Oh, sir. Our aim is to experimentally investigate the response of that element under the uh, impact, impact load against uh, different scenarios that is low velocity. The second aim is to investigate the performance of the state under effect load against variation and reinforcement ratio and we will also check the failure pattern and the nature of the failure whether it is a pattern thing or uh, that time. So the last will be to check the response of what we ask to get under the action of effect load. That's all from my side. Uh, 
MOS attached to the friction is free. The support condition here yield are simply supported and also a one, uh, one is there case in So, here uh, we have support condition and we are in the same experimental setup uh, and tripod and in the Here we have constituted two types of cement. One is TLR, that is top gear input, and second one is BLR, that is bottom gear input. And we have uh, made an experimental study, um, uh, and we have listed all the data in the next chapter, that is uh, the percentage of our Now here the instrumentation, and how the instrumentation was done. Is the first thing is the impact on the entire is impact set. The second one is uh, we have a load of 12.25 kg from a maximum height of 24 inch. So here, uh, to capture the acceleration, we have to uh, we use uh, two types of acceleration, that is IC2 and IC2. IC2. That were uh, mounted on the slave at two symmetrical points to uh, capture the acceleration. Now to uh, record that uh, acceleration time history, uh, we have used a data acquisition system and set the special software to record uh, acceleration time history. And after that, we use a seismo signal software to integrate into a velocity real time response and uh, displacement time response. So, this is the experimental set of weight, and this is the dynamic vestibular meter that is mounted at the same symmetrical points, and here we have a data acquisition system. So we have listed all the conclusions in the next section, but then I will catch up on the Uh, bending the uh, failure mode was uh, was bending failure mode, and the 
strikes initiated from the center and tributary towards the human supported site. While in case of the part and rear reinforced specimen, we were having uh, we were having a punching shear material mode and a crash initiated from the center and they were uh, propagating uh, around, uh, uh, around around the slab. Newer acceleration values were observed for TLR specimens as compared to the LR specimen, which actually uh, which actually says that the LR specimen has more capacity than the uh, TLR specimen and the reinforcement needs being provided in the uh, bottom layer of the slab. With subsequent impact, the slab gets remade and deteriorated so it weakens the response against the slide impact. So ultimately, the acceleration produced in a specimen get reduced with the subsequent impact. Slabs of in general, in ge in general uh, the overall outcome of the study is that uh, chicken environment is a good alternative to the normal enforcing bars, but, uh, but as, as it is uh, very economical and uh, easy to work with, but it needs to be provided with both the top and uh, bottom layer of the slab. Now here is the work statement with how we have uh, worked uh, work for this. Here are the responses to Thank you very much.